can you really make a living with Amazon KDP? I mean, the idea of earning money while you sleep sounds really amazing, am I right? But is it really that simple? Let's talk about it. First off, let's talk about why so many people are drawn to Amazon KDP. I mean, it's got some really sweet benefits. For one, it's an amazing way to earn passive income. You create a book once and it keeps earning over and over and over again. Plus, there's a super low barrier to entry. Anyone can start publishing without needing a super huge budget or without needing the blessing of a publishing house. And let's not forget the global reach. Your books can be sold all over the world without having to worry about inventory or shipping. Now, even though I paint a pretty uh, nice picture, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. I'm not going to give you the hype over here on this channel. I'm going to give you the real deal. A lot of people think because of the ease of getting into Amazon KDP that it's a get rich quick scheme. And it's not. You're going to need to put in some serious work and some serious effort. A lot of the gurus, the Amazon KDP gurus that you see flashing their big numbers here on YouTube, they don't show you the backstory. They don't show you the hundreds, maybe even thousands of books that they published before they start getting momentum. They don't show you how many years they've been at it before they started getting momentum. Instead, they only show you the people that have already been in the game and they show you their numbers. They show you the Coco Wyos. They show you the Jade Summers who have been in the game for years and have a huge catalog of books and therefore have name recognition and their books sell well. So from if you think about writing, uh, formatting, cover design, marketing, it's, it's all a lot of work. And let's be real, the competition is fierce. There are millions of books on Amazon. So standing out in a real way can be kind of tough. And when you're just starting out, the income can be inconsistent. Some months you're up, other months you're down. And a lot of times it takes ad money to put behind your books to even get them seen. So just brace yourself for the fact that you might not see the big bucks until you've put a quite a number of books out and you've hit upon a winning niche. So how do you make it work? Well, first things first, marketing research is crucial. You'll find that um, you can use the Amazon search bar to do your preliminary research, but a lot of people who find their success use additional tools in order to uncover the keywords that people are looking for and where the demand is, where the gaps are, and that's how they find their niches. Because the fact of the matter is, if you wanna win on Amazon KDP, you've got to know what the audience wants before you even start writing. It's also super important to focus on quality versus quantity. It's better to have a few high quality books than a ton of low quality ones. And another thing that people often forget is that even after you publish your book, you still gotta market it. Now that's whether you self-publish or even if you go with a publishing house who backs you, you still have to be responsible for marketing and getting the word out about your books. So whether that's building an author platform or a platform for your brand on social media, whether you do SEO or whether you do Amazon ads, all of that considered makes a big difference. And another tip, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Before you hit upon your winning niche, you might have to explore different genres, different niches within a category. So if the first one doesn't hit, that's no indication of your uh, quality or your ability to succeed in Amazon KDP. It does take time. So let's dive on in to what it really takes to make money uh, real time living with Amazon KDP. First, let's clarify what we mean by full time income. For most people in the US, a full-time income is roughly $70,000 per year. And that breaks down to about $5,800 per month. So how feasible is it really to earn $5,800 per month with Amazon KDP? It's definitely possible, but it requires some strategy. Most successful KDP authors don't rely on just one book. They create a portfolio of titles within a niche. Now having multiple books in a category helps smooth out fluctuation in your income and increases your overall revenue potential in the long run. And I'll give you a few examples of some KDP authors that have had quite a bit of success. And if their genres or their niches interest you, go ahead and look them up and, and kind of see how they did it. 
versus Rachel Harrison's son. She actually has a channel here on YouTube where she talks about uh, low content books. That's how she, you know, created her platform. Books like journals, planners, notebooks. Um, by focusing, she focused on the designs in those niche markets and that's what helped her books stand out. And she's been able to generate a steady five figures per month doing that. Now, Mark Dawson, I don't know if you've heard of him. He has an author's platform as well. He had his success in the thriller uh, genre. And Mark turned his KDP self-publishing into a full-time career. He earns six figures annually. And that's partly in thanks to his um, marketing and reader engagement. Now, another person who's had success with Amazon KDP is Brittany Wang. She focuses on adult fiction and she's also built a strong author platform. So by combining her writing with marketing savvy, she's able to earn thousands of dollars a month. Now, these are just three examples of how you can have a successful career with Amazon KDP. But keep in mind, it's not an overnight success. It takes hard work, it takes creativity, it takes a willingness to improve upon your skills and to keep going. So whether you're writing fiction, nonfiction, uh, low content books, medium content books. The potential is there if you're willing to put in the effort. Now enough about them. Let's talk about you. To reach a full-time income of at least $5,800 a month with Amazon KDP, you're going to need a clear strategy and consistent effort. So here's a plan to help you get there. Number one, market research and niche selection. You want to start by identifying profitable niches. You can use the Amazon search results or you can use tools like Publisher Rocket. And what you want to do is find niches with high demand and low competition. At this point, they may be a little tough to uncover, but that's how you break in. So once you have selected a niche that you're interested in and that has potential, you want to consider diversifying within that niche. So for example, if you choose the niche of self-help, you can publish books on mindfulness, productivity, and financial management. This will help you target multiple audiences within that same general area, and you'll likely have the same customer coming back to purchase different books from you. And remember, it's quality over quantity. Now, back in the beginning of Amazon KDP, when it was new, you might have gotten away with quantity. People were publishing book after book after book, maybe even changing up a cover or two and publishing the same. That strategy no longer works. So instead of churning out n numerous low quality books, aim to produce fewer high quality books. And the reason you want to do that is because it increases your chances of getting more reviews and repeat customers. Now here's the thing, you might say writing is not my strength, but I still want to get in the game. How do I do that? Well, you can consider hiring a ghostwriter. You can build your team of ghostwriters, editors, and designers. Platforms like Upwork or Fiverr can help you find affordable talent and ensure that your book reads and looks professional. Now the next thing is how do we get the word out? How do we let people know that our books exist? If you're a nonfiction or fiction writer, you might want to consider building an author platform. Create a website, grow your email list, build up your social medias. In fact, book talk is a huge niche on, on TikTok. Things like this can help you create an engaged, loyal following of readers that are eager to buy your books. Another option is to utilize Amazon ads. Running targeted ads on Amazon can significantly boost your visibility. You can start with a small budget and adjust based on performance metrics like click-through rate or your ACoS, which is your advertising cost of sales. You can also leverage content marketing. That's where you write blog posts or guest articles or create videos that are related to your book's topic. What this does is help drive organic traffic to your books. Now, once you get a rhythm going, then it's time to scale up. This is when you want to expand your catalog. Once your initial books start generating income, then you want to reinvest those profits to create more books. The more quality books you have, the more opportunities you have to earn. And also, don't forget to explore different formats. You publish the book, which is probably hardcover or paperback, but don't forget about audiobooks, which is audible. Don't forget about uh, books on your tablet in order to reach a wider audience. And also consider collaborations. Partner with other authors or influencers 
picking your niche to cross promote your books. This can lead to increased exposure and more sales. And finally, you want to adapt based on the feedback that you're getting. Listen to your readers' reviews and their comments. See where you can improve. And if there's a recurring theme in the feedback you're getting, consider updating the book to make those improvements and those adjustments. So in the span of a year timeline, because remember, this isn't a get rich quick scheme, the first one to three months, we might focus on our market research, um, selecting our niche and creating our first high quality book. Then months four through six, we begin marketing and growing our author platform and then publish our second and third books. And then finally in months seven through 12, we'll scale up by expanding our product offering, running ads and leveraging content marketing. And then it's just rinse and repeat. Well, I shouldn't say that. And then it's reflect, rinse and repeat. Cause you wanna look at what did well and do more of that. So can you really make a living with Amazon KDP? The answer is yes, but it's gonna take time, effort and patience. And that's the real truth about it. Some authors do make it big. In fact, many do make it big, but they don't do it overnight. The key to their success was that they treated KDP like a business and put in the work over the months and even years. If you're willing to do the same, it's definitely possible. So to wrap things up, yes, it is possible to make a living with Amazon KDP. I'm on the journey as well, but I do understand that it takes work, determination, and persistence. If you're willing to put in the work and adapt, you can do it too. And it can be a really rewarding way to earn a living. Now, if you found this video helpful, I'd love to hear your thoughts or questions in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified when the next video drops. As always, we'll be talking about how you can create passive income with your creativity. You won't want to miss it. But in the meantime, check out this video that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Until next time, bye bye